You know what this is all about? Do you know why we're here? To be out. This is out. And out is one of the single most enjoyable experiences of life. People, you know how many people talk about we should go out? This is what they're talking about. This whole thing, we're all out now. No one is home. Not one person here is home. We're all out. There are people trying to find us. They don't know where we are. Did you read? I can't find him. Where did he go? He didn't tell me where he was going. He must have gone out. You want to go out. You get ready. You pick out the clothes, right? You take the shower, get all ready. Get the cash, get your friends, the car, the spot, the reservation. Then you stand around. What do you do? You go, we got to be getting back. <laughs> Once you're out, you want to get back. You want to go to sleep. You want to get up. You want to go out again tomorrow, right? Wherever you are in life, it's my feeling you've got to go. You got any meat? <laughs> meat? I, I don't know. Go hunt. <laughs> but well, what happened in the game anyway? What happened? Well, they stunk. That's what happened. <laughs> you know, I almost wound up going to that game. Yeah, you almost went to the game. You haven't been out of the building in ten years. Yeah. <laughs> Done, let me know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they're showing me on television the detergents getting out blood stains. Is this a violent image to anybody? Blood stains? I mean, I mean come on, you got a t shirt with blood stains all over it. Maybe laundry isn't your biggest problem right now. <laughs> you gotta get the harpoon out of your chest first. Let's see, that's uh, one TV, a stereo, one leather jacket, a VCR, and a computer. Is that about it? Answering machine. Answering machine. Boy, I hate the idea of somebody out there returning my calls. What do you mean? It's a joke. I see. Well, Mr. Seinfeld, uh, we'll look into it and uh, we'll let you know if we, you know, if we find anything. You ever find anything? No. <laughs> well, thanks anyway. You bet. I didn't get that joke either. The crook has the machine. The messages aren't for him. He's the crook. What? Why would he answer? <laughs> How did you get in here? <laughs> I walked in. Your lobby door is broken again. Again? I don't know how you put up with this. Yeah, tell him, George. Nice. You would still want to move in here? Yes. You don't understand. I'm living with Ethel Merman without the talent. People always tell me, you should have your money working for you. I decided I'll do the work. I'm going to let the money relax. You know what I mean? Because you send your money out there working for you. A lot of times it gets fired. You go back there. What happened? I had my money. It was here. It was working for me. Yeah, I remember your money. Showing up late, taking time off. We had to let him go. Thank <laughs> you.